Hey guys, this is Rob Dedman with Agritech USA. We're up here in Maryland today on the Delmarva Peninsula, uh, I guess over here on the eastern shore with Temple Roads. And uh, what we want to talk about is a little bit of work that we've, some experimental stuff that we're doing with uh, NutriCharge Release up here on uh, Temple's farm. And we've done it with some soybeans. We've got some plants that we dug up here. And Temple, tell us what you did first of all, and then let's talk a little bit about what we think's going on here. So I've always been a big believer in the NutriCharge. I've had great success with it, you know, in Furrow and in Tuba too. This year we took a little bit different spin on things. Um, now the, what you see over there on your side, that is NutriCharge in Furrow. So right. it's not like I, I went without it. I didn't, I'm not comparing it to a check because in my program now, I run it on 100% of my acres. So when you tell me, hey, we need a check, I always argue with it. I'm like, I'm not doing no check. Like I'm not, I'm not losing money. It's gave me that kind of return. So that's just NutriCharge in fur, 3.2 ounces. Um, that's all it is. On this side over here, we decided that we needed to, a year like this year, we needed to cut fertility. I don't like to cut fertility, but we got a bank out here that we knew our phosphorus in the soil was good. So I'm trying to get more out of it out of the soil. So we added the new release product in a tube or two. Didn't do it in furrow because I believe that it's a little bit too hot for in furrow. We don't know that exactly. We're trying some trials this year, trying to prove that it is or isn't. But I put it in the tube or two alone. And when we came over here, I said, look, I got something to show you. And then when we drove up the lane, you were like, man, it is a big difference between those beans. So we did a side-by-side -side dig. This is a half pound of NutriCharge release in a tuba two, along with NutriCharge Inferro. That's just Inferro NutriCharge. So what I'm trying to show is, is that we're getting a lot more nutrients into the plant. Now we haven't gotten back our tissue samples yet, but I believe once we get our tissue samples back, I mean, how much more nutrients are in this plant that versus in those plants? Right, so uh, that's gonna be really interesting to look at. I think one of the things, you know, we, we've always talked about, we know in grass crops that plant, plant mass and biomass sometimes correlates to yield. And I'm not gonna say- Not gonna necessarily say always, in beans. But not know? necessarily in beans. So are we simply, are we getting ready to grow just a bigger, more vegetative plant? Or are we getting a plant off to a hardier start here, you know? We look at the root system, that's a much better root system. We know that in order to, to pick up phosphorus, we gotta have phosphorus goes in the plant through root interception. So without the root system, you're not getting the phosphorus. You guys are already limited on the nutrition that you can use up here. Yeah. And and so are we, you know, what I feel like we're doing is with the with the release, we're actually helping mine some of that phosphorus well, that you have. Cause I mean, you do have plenty out. In, in, in my normal grower standard practice, in years previous, we had a big, big micro pack that we would put in furrow. And I, th I think that that helped us set up the playing field. Well, that was one of the things that I cut out like this year. I had to cut something. I mean, with grain prices the way they are, with fertility prices the way they are, we, we needed to do something. So instead of putting that big slug micro pack in furrow up front that I was helping to facilitate that, I used this product instead hoping that it could kind of get me through the season better. And from what I'm seeing so far, I, I think that it, it's working out. I mean, if you go out in the field, there is some manganese deficiency on those plants. There is some other deficiencies out there because there's no nutrition out there. On where we put the release at, I'm not seeing there, it's not showing any signs. Right, yet. you know, there is a little bit of leaf burning if everybody sees that, we've got, it does, but that is from a herbicide application that you made Right, uh, with, and, with, and it, with and a it does that. Load. I mean, yeah. we do a hot load, and, and that's fine. We, you know, just so we everybody knows what's going on there. But um, guys, we're going we're going to look at several different trials here today. As um, long as the rain holds off on us, so stay tuned. We're going to keep coming at you with more information. And uh, if you got questions or comments, be sure to reach out to us at agritechusa.com.